Why are you not doing a more productive, better feeling job of focusing your thought? It's because you have this habit of looking at what is. What is has your attention. You talk about it, you catalog it, you pigeonhole it, you compare it. You compare it, you compare it, you compare it, you compare it, you compare it. Well, a certain amount of sifting and sorting is a value to you to help you launch desires. But once you've launched your desires, get off of what is. So if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would ask ourselves, purposefully what aspects of my life do I want to continue to recreate do I want to keep eating yeah vitality is that something I want to keep perpetuating yes balance flexibility eagerness love fun do I want to perpetuate those things if you do then talk about them more focus on them more do, do you want to perpetuate disappointment then stop talking about things that are disappointing to you do you like do you, do you want to perpetuate anger then stop talking about things that make you mad in other words you have control over this you have more control but there is another piece here there's something else because we know you get all that too we know that you get all of that so what is it what is it that I'm doing wrong what is it that I'm doing wrong that is keeping me from being better at this what am I doing wrong that's the answer to the question right there <laughs> that's the answer to the question you're calling yourself wrong because you've made a determination that you're not where you want to be and you're and you're beating up on yourself about it I should be doing better it's, it, it, you, you've been practicing that's a core vibration uh, not core from source but something that you've been practicing for so long that it's a very influential vibration I should be doing better than I am and that just straight out is not true at all where you are is is as much of the path as you can see right now and it's fine it's fine I'm right smack dab on my path this is this is where I am what's here what's here that's good for me that will transform you just looking for the positive aspects of where you stand but Abraham you said I should be unconditional isn't looking for positive aspects sort of like looking for positive conditions well you are where you are you can't just evaporate you can't just you can't just suck yourself back into the non-physical and be born again oh yeah you can you woke up this morning it's just like that <laughs> you woke up this morning it's just like that you can recreate yourself every single day you can face reality a little less tomorrow than you did today now that you understand that facing reality recreates reality you have the ability to do this and it is not a hard thing you know how to do it don't you think you know how to do it so what keeps you from doing it is it because you're lazy you aren't you're not lazy is it because you're not disciplined it isn't about that give yourself a break it's because law of attraction is reflecting back to you what you've got going on vibrationally what what's active in your vibration is reflected back to you that's the way that it's got to be it's got to be that way what's in your vibration must be reflected back to you law of attraction cannot make you the exception to the universe you want it that way law of attraction is reflecting back to you what you've got actively going on so what's the answer do something about what you've got actively going on which means get more general about it wake up and focus a little in the make it easy on yourself you got to take the path of least resistance you'll never get there by the path of most resistance oh I'm so bad at this but I'm gonna get better at this I'm gonna be better at this I'm gonna think about what I want I'm gonna make long lists of what I want and I'm gonna stick to it until I get it because I deserve it we say that's not working out for you well at all what will work out better for you is I'm doing all right and it's getting better and I'm having quite a bit of fun and I like what I'm doing we like what we heard from our friend it just gets better and better it's easier source is with me all is well things are working out for me I'm doing pretty good at that I'm doing pretty good at that I'm doing pretty good at that I'm doing pretty good I created that I did that I did that I did that I did that thing that I want so much I did that thing that I don't like so much I did it all I'm doing it and I'm doing okay I'm doing all right I'm good at this I'm doing all right things are unfolding I love how the universe reflects back to me exactly how I feel I love that every thought that flows every thought that flows reflecting back to you how you feel everything everything reflecting back to you how you feel so your singular work is controlling your own mood 
but you can't control it if it's out here wobbling in a really big detailed way your only chance of controlling your mood is starting where it's easy you see got to catch it in the early stages and then off you go living happily ever after loving where you are all the time with where you are expanding and delivering more and more and more until until there are moments in time where you you, you just feel so appreciated and by source and so blessed by the universe and so the, much the recipient of wonderful things and so alert and so alive and so clear and so full and so Esther writes the word lighthearted 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 she loves that lighthearted feeling she used to say to Jerry really often let's go get a coke and pretend like we're on vacation because that's a lighthearted feeling that that lighthearted feeling of of no one needing or wanting anything for anything from me right now because I've carved out this little bit of time and no one is asking anything of me that's that lighthearted free free flowing good feeling you just got to find words like that 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 stimulate that within you and and just start there and then notice how things are reflected back to you in response to the atmosphere that you are now taking more control about so we know it sounds a little paradoxical because we're saying to you don't be mad at yourself about whatever your atmosphere is but try to improve it if you can but don't be mad about don't be mad at yourself about the atmosphere that you've got going on or about what's being reflected back to confirm what the atmosphere is that you've got going on don't be mad at yourself but do your best to soothe the atmosphere as best you can and once you get the hang of this and practice it just a little bit as you're hearing from different people and as you're experiencing on your own things just get better and better and better and better and better and better and they can turn on a dime Esther was walking through the airport a couple of days ago in San Antonio and she was feeling sorry for herself because a dear friend made her transition and Esther was not ready for her dear friend to make her transition and Esther's the boss of everyone you know <laughs> people should do what Esther wants them to do so Esther had that sort of lonely thing going on she's sort of moving through the airport and longing for her playful friend and then because she wasn't she hadn't been longing very long she caught it in the early stages but she was longing she thought oh my playful friend and then she thought oh yeah now you've reemerged into non-physical I'll bet you're more playful than ever just for a moment she felt a little fear because this is a very playful friend <laughs> and then so then she thought okay as Esther standing there with Southwest Airline all lined up with all with everyone else and and if if her friend were there her friend would have been talking to this one and this one and this one and this one everybody wants to talk and Esther standing there not talking to anyone just sort of looking at it <laughs> everyone, everyone and wishing she could think of something to say to all of them and wishing that her friend was there saying it and so she didn't have to say it just a little bit and then and then she and then she had the thought all right playful friend play <laughs> play with me and then Esther looked up at the monitor television monitor which she avoids always because it's CNN and it's always something horrible and Esther's looking at it thinking okay my playful friend is looking up here and the the big red words on the screen said dead general comes home from Afghanistan <laughs> and Esther said that's really funny <laughs> not that funny and then as she stood there just a little longer and looked the closed caption said and we all appreciate his sack faces <laughs> not sacrifices sack faces <laughs> the day before Esther had been with other friends looking at pictures of this dear friend and she had a sack over her head the day before the day before and it's been a constant conversation are they bags or sacks they're sacks they're bags they're sacks are they sacks or bags they're sacks friend always insists that they are sacks so we all appreciate the sack faces <laughs> yeah. 
Esther caught it in the early s stages. In other words, Esther, no, Esther's getting really good at this. Esther's getting better and better at it because Esther wants to feel good all the time. Mm -hmm. And her desire to feel good dominates her, her, her sometimes tendency to feel bad. Sometimes there are conditions that seem to dictate the way you feel. No. They don't have to conditions do not need to dictate the way you feel there's always something that can bring you into alignment and once you know that then then the path 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 what you want all the time no exceptions you can be or do or have anything that you want now not later now right now right now everything you want whether it's a material object a state of being a circumstance a relationship a pile of money everything that you want is because you believe you will feel better in the having of it and when you show yourself you can feel better now pre-manifestation then you've got it and then it has to manifest but there is a tripping point if the it will I'll do this work so it will manifest that messes it up because now the manifestation point which hasn't happened yet is active in your vibration and keeping you from the path that leads you to where you want to be isn't that the most interesting thing I want this thing that I do not have so that I will feel better so I'm gonna feel better so that I will have this thing ah uh, you just tripped yourself up let me say it again Abraham all right if I when I have this thing I will feel better I get that I get that I get that and so I want to feel better so I'll have that eh. Because every time you introduce the condition that hasn't manifested, you introduce resistance that slows it down. Can you hear that? So when you say, I want to feel better, and you really mean, I love feeling good. I like fun. I like lighthearted. I like clarity. I like ease. I like clarity. I like fun. I like vitality. I like exhilaration. I like passion. I like ease. I like comfort. I like joy. I like bliss. In other words, as you stay in those unconditional you're not saying give me that and then I'll feel that you're saying you like that you do like that don't you like that don't you like all of those things then practice the feeling of them and the conditions will reflect the feeling that you have accomplished and that is what unconditional love is that's what unconditional alignment is that's what living happily ever after is about it's what accepting that you're eternal and you'll all be always be standing somewhere focused upon something and it is supposed to always feel good and you have control over that you say this job isn't as good as the job I want well as long as that's active in your vibration what you want the improvement that you want cannot come but Abraham if I seem to be happy in the absence of what I want are you sure the universe won't say I'll leave her alone she's good she's just good for her. Her. <laughs> because what's in your vortex you have put it there it's clear you can trust that source knows who you've become and is showing you the path to get there but what you really want drum roll please is, is the path. path it's not where the path is leading it's the path it's how the path feels now and now and now and now and now because the path's never going to lead to an end you're eternal did you know that time to accept that one no ending comes to any of you you do not end you do not cease to be you do not cease to think you do not cease to love you do not cease to be present in this time space reality there are no sack faces <laughs> you. enough um actually you know i'm struggling with stop it <laughs> don't struggle anymore don't, don't talk, talk about it okay. don't talk about the struggle you talk about the struggle you keep the struggle active and the struggle goes on and 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 on get out 